welcome to my channel called Actively Planning, where we do all things weekly spreads here in my passion planner. So this is a small size with a Monday start. And as you can see, all of the post-its absolutely everywhere, just so that I actually know what the heck is going on in this new week. And coming back from that conference, I am actually filming this before leaving for the conference because I know that I won't have time and I'm not gonna be home. And this week is going to be filled with things. So I'm actually going to be using these stickers from Happy Planner. I have used them before, but I'm going to use them in a little bit of a different way. And I'm actually going to incorporate these three different, I don't know what that was, these three different washi tapes kind of going with the blue feel. And of course, my icon stickers here, I am still very much obsessed with using them plus my Make ID label printer where I pre-printed my titles for this upcoming week. So I'm actually looking at it backwards, but anyways. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do first is obviously white out these sections because I definitely know that these washi tapes are very translucent and I definitely wanna see the you know, graphic that it has, the print that it has rather than just focusing on you know that black outline right under there i think i ran out of white out nope yep okay good thing i have more so anyways let me go ahead add uh, add in all this white out plus add in my washi tape <music> into the actual planning for this week and yes you saw all of the post-its that are happening or of all the events that are happening let me put it that way um, and one of the biggest things that is actually happening this week is the fact that um, well while I'm recording this this literally happened yesterday but it's, it'll be like a week and a half later um, once I actually upload this and it is live, but I got an evaluation for my hearing because I woke up one day and it was just ringing super loud in my left side and I could tell that I couldn't hear correctly. So I got some testing done and I have a sudden moderate to severe hearing loss on my left side with tinnitus 
So this upcoming week, I am going to be doing a lot more testing, including an MRI, another audiology appointment, ENT appointment. So I'm just going through like a lot medically but trying to keep everything as normal as possible because I know how important routines are I know how important it is to you know not hyper fixate on something like this especially um, going through what I've been through which is I also have vertigo and it is induced by migraines so I've definitely been in a situation kind of similar but kind of not when it comes to all of this so definitely trying to keep up with my routine as much as I can or the best that I can. So one of the things that I'm going to be doing is still doing, you know, all the things that I love to do, moving my body, making sure that I'm still focused on helping my clients, let them, you know, achieve their own goals, still obviously keep up with my job, all of those different things so that I have my normal routine. I just need to add in a few extra little things that are, you know, happening because of this new, let's say, diagnosis. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead, add in the rest of all the things that are happening during this week, all the meetings, appointments, and there will be a lot of actual blank spaces just because I do not know how these different, like, different events are going to affect me. So I would definitely prefer to not have like an overwhelming bombarded, you know, schedule when I know that I might need to cope, rest and recover. So definitely going to keep it that way and definitely going to at least keep my normal things flowing. So let me go ahead and finish this up.
to the bottom right section here. Obviously, it's going to be the quote of the week. And based on what I had just talked about, this is something that is really resonating with me. And I feel like I'm definitely going to be looking at it constantly. And the quote of the week is, don't let the hard, hard days win. So obviously, a lot of hard things are happening, but I don't want them to, you know, basically define my day I know that I can at least control other things so that's what I'm gonna focus on and I'm not gonna let them actually win so let me go ahead and write down this quote bottom left section is usually where I add my habit tracker it's just something for me to obviously track <laughs> how I'm doing with different things in my business and my personal life so definitely going to incorporate the lines that are already in passion planner which I'm still very much obsessed that it has these already because I can't even imagine trying to make it up myself <laughs> even if I could I would but Obviously, having this already laid out is definitely helpful. So let me just go ahead, add in my tracker for this week. spots which uh, are my gratitude which I'm actually going to cut up this giant sticker that I have here obviously I don't want to use the whole thing so I'm actually going to cut it up a little bit so that it does fit and this will be where I do my gratitude and then of course I'm gonna have a section for my goals something that I'm working towards and it's kind of like a reminder for the hard work that I'm doing and then of course I'm actually going to be adding my to do's and one of the biggest things that I always encourage let's say um, here I've definitely mentioned it in previous videos but then also to my clients that when you ever you have let's say a very busy week whenever you have you know a giant to-do list of things that need to get done honestly the best thing that you can do is split it up by days don't just make like one giant like list because knowing from experience and seeing how it actually affects people and learning this it's something that can cause more overwhelm to the point that we end up not doing the hard things and pushing them off week by week by week but instead if you actually go ahead and split up your to do's throughout your week incorporating easier things plus harder things or things that you think will occupy more of your time effort mental strain any of those things honestly it'll make your to-dos less overwhelming because you will have a variety of the easy and the hard but then also it will eliminate that 
factor of pushing things off because you know that these are what you need to do today, this is what you need to do in the next few days. So it's not something that is overwhelming of looking at let's say a giant piece of paper with a bunch of things that need to get done like a giant list that for me is way overwhelming than looking at two three to do's that i have to do on either monday tuesday or wednesday and then another little tiny to do to do on thursday friday saturday sunday so honestly it is one of the biggest game changers that i've ever found and it is just so much better and less overwhelming going about it this way so that's my little idea spiel thing about just doing some to do's but anyways let me go ahead and have some fun decorating because i have everything set and now it's the fun part spread super excited obviously going to fill in all the gratitude goals all that stuff once I'm done filming here I freaking love the color I think it turned out awesome so anyways hopefully this was inspiring hopefully this was helpful and of course hopefully you like comment and subscribe and I will see you here for another video very very soon okay bye